Hello guys, this is Mahmoud Rauf. How are you doing? Okay, in this video we will learn about the RunTouch app and we will know how to use it. So at the beginning we will import the RunTouch app from the base. So the benefit of the RunTouch app is that it helps me to run whatever I create and then it helps me to apply the touch on my layout or on my window. Then I will import the builder so I can write the my code or I can write my code inside of it. So first of all, I will write run touch app builder dot load string. And the load string, we talk it in the basics of the Python that it expresses the texts. So that means I will import the texts. So if I want to write my code inside of it, it will be applied and then it will be executed. So let's go to our editor to try this. So at first we will import the run touch app. We will write from kv dot base import run touch app and take care the t must be capital and or uppercase and the a must be uppercase then i will import the builder so i will write from kv dot lang import builder then i will import the run touch app and i will write right here builder dot load string and focus on that because this is so important because right now I'm importing or I'm loading the strings, so I can write whatever I want to be printed. So uh, I will write right here, load underscore string, and then I will write three quotations here and three quotations at the end. And between them I will write stack layout, and the S is going to be capital or uppercase, and the L must be uppercase as well. And anyways, in the next videos we will know about this, we will know more about the stack layout, and we will know more about this. So let's give it a label right here and then let's give it a text and let's write for example S1. Let's save and then we will run our code and here it is as you see. Our label has been drawn right here on the window. So let's go to our editor and let's create a button instead of the label. So we will be able to use the touch ability. Let's save and then let's run the app one more time and here we go as you see it became button right here so I created a button right here and I got the benefit of using the touch method so the run touch app enabled me to run my code and at the same time I, I was able to or I became able to use the touch method that is applied on my window right now so let's recap again our code and let's revise our code so at first we imported the run touch app by the base and then we imported the builder by the lang. Then we imported or we called the runtouch app and the builder so we will be able to write our code, which is the load string. Uh, so I just gave it a load string and I ordered the builder to load a string or in my code from the apps that I have. And that allowed me to run my code and at the same time I became able to use Dutch ability on my window. So uh, in this way we recapped or we made a recap over our code. I hope that you liked the uh, video and uh, I hope that you found it beneficial guys. So thank you so much and see you in the next video.